Hey, what is up guys? Bang Gonzo here. So today what I'm going to be talking about is how to use MIDI in Cakewalk. Now, just for a disclaimer, I'm not going to be talking about MIDI controllers in Cakewalk. First of all, because there are so many videos about how to do that kind of thing. And, and second of all, whenever I do my MIDI in Cakewalk, whenever I'm making a melody or drum and stuff like that, I'm always using my mouse. So I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know in the MIDI window of Cakewalk. And let's get right into it. Step one is to understand that MIDI is basically just data inside of the computer. There's no audio involved. So let's hit this little plus sign here and then click on instrument track. You're going to see that there's like this little keyboard um, sign here. That's basically what we're doing. We're adding a keyboard kind of instrument in. We're not going to be like adding a microphone or guitar in. Now change this horizontal line that says MIDI only to whatever you want to use. Let's say we want to use the electric piano, that stock and kickwalk. And then it's going to open up the user interface of the plugin and it's going to give you a track down here that belongs to that plugin. Now in order to start drawing in some MIDI, we're going to right click on this empty track, click hover over view, click piano roll view. You can also just click on the track that you want to do and then hit alt three. And now that you have the MIDI window open down here, let's click shift D to make it full screen. And now you, and now you have your MIDI open. Now I first want to show you how to use ghost notes so that your melodies always will snap to the scale. What you want to do is click on the track that you're doing, which is SI electric piano, right click on it, hit hover over scales. And then since I'm going to do a trap beat in this video, I'm going to do harmonic minor right there. And the root note can be C and then right click again and click enable snap to scale. Now in order to draw a note, you want to click T on your keyboard and to bring up these little options, click on the smart tool, which is the pointer tool. Um, and then you have this little pencil icon. Now it is possible to double click and you can make a note like that. But I believe that the fastest way to do it is to hold alt and then just click wherever you want to place a note. And just like that, we have some notes. Now, since you had all these white lines here, you can't actually play where the white lines are, which is handy for keeping your stuff in the scale. If I ever want to make a note longer, I can either click on the edge and pull it out longer, or if I want to make this whole chord longer, I can just highlight all of them by dragging my fingers over the keys and then dragging over. So I made these two chords here and they kind of sound nice. Let's listen to them. Pretty simple stuff. But what if I want to loop those chords? Basically what you want to do is you want to highlight all of them by going like that with your keyboard. You can, there's also another way to do it if you hit control A. Also, if you hit T on your keyboard and then click on this little pointer tool or selector tool, you can actually just make a selection so you can be more fine tuned with what you grab. Then go back and then hit T again, choose your pointer tool again. And then when you hover over a note, it's going to give you the crosshairs. Hold control and drag with those crosshairs to where you want the things to go. Now I'm gonna show you something kind of handy. If you click on a note that's like short like this and then place a new note, it's gonna be that short length. But if you click on a long note and then place a new note, it will be this that length. If you want to cut a note in half really quickly, hold alt on your keyboard and click where you want to cut. It's usually going to snap right to grid. What I really want it to be is like dun 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 dun. That's a triplet. I want you to right click on this little 1 16th and change it to 1 4th triplet. Now I want you to hit T on your keyboard, select this, little, select this little draw tool, and then right click on one eighth triplet and change it to one fourth triplet. And then click where you want your first note to be, and then just drag to where you want your next notes to be. So now you have three notes in a row. I actually want this middle note to be down one. So what I did there is I clicked T and used the move tool and then moved it down by one. Another way to do that is that if you have that one fourth triplet up in the corner, you can actually just hold alt, place your first note, hold alt, place your next note, hold alt, place your next note. Let's say you're really enjoying this, but you want it to be a little bit lower. What I want you to do is right click on this little SI electric piano, turn off, snap to scale, and then highlight everything again. Transpose it down a little bit.
Now on top of that, I want to have it extra beefy in the chord section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these chords and I'm going to copy them down an octave. What that involves is, you see how the first note is a G? If you like hover over it, it's like a G there. I want you to I'll click on this, hold control, and move down until you get to another G. Just like that. And so here are two more quick tips on using um, MIDI for instruments. So for example, this is an 808 right here. And usually 808s are low, and right now the 808 is really high pitched. But now what I want to do is I want to pitch it down. So what I could do is I could highlight them all, and I could like look at this A, and then drag it down to another A, and I could do a whole bunch of things like that. But we want to know something that's faster. What I want you to do is I want you to push D, so you're out of the MIDI window. Click on the track that you want to, you want to transpose down. Hover over process, transpose, and then it's going to give you an amount. Change this amount to zero, and then just go to negative 12 by hitting the minus key on your keyboard. So now once you have your thing at negative 12, hit enter, and then play it again. And I'm pretty sure that's how low I want it to be. Now one other thing, if you want to change the velocity of these notes, highlight all of the notes, and click this little... Um, show high controller pane button down here if you click that twice it's going to bring you the midi window and the velocity window so this shows how hard and how loud each of these notes are going to be played another quick tip on the same track of transposing things down if you highlight all of your instruments in this um, main window and then go to process transpose i'm going to go to like negative two so it's going to transpose all of them down by two half steps But there's also a version of MIDI called Step Sequencer. The Step Sequencer sort of way of drawing your um, stuff in is really good for hi-hats in particular. I use it for hi-hats all the time. If I go fill every four by hitting right-clicking there. If you have absolutely nothing on the track, click once on the track and hit Alt-4. It's going to bring up your Step Sequencer window. Then hit Shift D to make it full screen, and then change the change the beats up to eight and the steps up to eight. Hit this little X a whole bunch of times until you only have one track left. Then change this 36 to 55. Then hit this plus sign on the side until you get to 65. There you go. Now you have 65. Then take C60, which is right here right click on it and do fill every four then hit d in your keyboard pull this to right to the very beginning and there you've got your hi-hat started with this window here if you want to place a note you click it once if you want to delete the note you click it, you have right click it once and that's basically all you have to know You can duplicate one of these tracks just like you would before. So now I'm going to highlight over all of them, right click and push bounce to clips. And it's in the MIDI form like before. Now I'm going to show you where that draw tool really shines. I'm going to change the 16th to 64th. Then I'm going to hit T in the keyboard and change this to the draw tool. I'm going to, I don't have to click anything on my keyboard and I can just drag something like that. Let's listen to it. Now the best way to make your Hyatt rolls stand out even more is to highlight all the Hyatt rolls by holding over the notes that have those rolls. And I'm going to use my smart tool, the pointer tool, to kind of draw in like little ramps. So that and remember that these are these all signify what the velocities of them, so how loud each sound is. So if these sounds are low and these ones are high, it's going to be like, whoosh, it's going to like. Whoosh. 
I don't do this in every single beat, but since this is a mini tutorial, I felt like this could be a good time to try to pull out this little technique. What I have is a snare clap, as is, what I have here is a clap. And I already have the main clap um, track here on this little side panel so you can click, see all these claps. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write, I'm gonna control click on the track that I wanna be using, which is the second clap. I want to turn on 30 second note. I want to click T on my keyboard and then draw, use this little draw tool. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of little claps that are going up in velocity as they ramp up into the clap sound. So I'm gonna start click like a little bit before this clap and use the draw tool again to draw in claps there. That sounds pretty bad, but let's keep going. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna highlight these claps and then I'm going to get my, my smart tool out, click this little up arrow, and then do the same ramping stuff I did with the hi-hats. And then we turn it down a bit. And then if we pitch it down using the transpose tool a bit, And then I'm also going to duplicate it over here, so. I'm also gonna have a up here. So I'm gonna get my draw tool out, still in the 64th. Doing something like that and going down in velocity. This is fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this MIDI tutorial, tell me in the comment section. Let me know what kind of um, tutorial you want in the future. You can just write that in the comment section. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next week, Saturday. Woo!